words, O Lord, are spirit and life.
It's a beautiful Saturday morning from wherever you're watching across the world. We we'll welcome you to this special broadcast of the dedication ceremony of Archangel Gabriel Catholic Church Okada by His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Augustine Obiora Akubese. Today, Saturday, the 17th day of September 2022. Interestingly, uh, it's part of the activities marking the 88th birthday anniversary of the Islam of Benin, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawao Igbinijio. Uh, for the House of Igbinijio, this is the main birthday celebration activity. And we're live here at Okada. We'll be bringing you live commentaries, bringing you up to speed with all the things that are happening here today. But I can tell you for sure that important dignitaries from the Catholic Church, from across the country and beyond, uh, some traditional rulers from across the country and beyond, and several important dignitaries are already here. As is always the case, the celebrant in chief, the Islam of Benin, is here seated. I want to thank you so much and welcome you very specially for joining this live broadcast. My name is Sonny Duke Okosun. I've got uh, Moses Uyo sighting also with me in the commentary box. Moses. Sonny Duke uh, Okosun. Uh, good morning, Nigerians. Uh, Okada is, is a beehive of activities already, and uh, you just can't beat the Esama of the Kingdom. Uh, he's always ahead of others. Uh, again, he's turning the world, and uh, the whole of the world uh, uh, has converged on Okada, the administrative headquarters of Ovia, Northeast Tokyo government area of Edo State. For this, uh, you know, historic event, the dedication ceremony of Archangel Gabriel Catholic Church Okada, and of course. Um, uh, retinue of uh, Catholic priests, uh, bishops, uh, you want to say, uh, led by Archbishop uh, of the Benin Metropolitan See, Most uh, Reverend Dr. Augustino Biora Kubweze. Uh, they are already here, and of course, uh, the Esama, being a, a very good timekeeper, came here, you know, even before every other person. And I must say that, uh, Sonny, today is going to be one of the best days uh, of this whole celebration of the 88th birthday celebration of the ESAMA and the entire house of Igbinadion uh, led by His Excellency Chief Dr. Lakino Saka Igbinadion they are also here and of course the matriarch uh, Lady Cherry Igbinadion uh, on our way and, and uh, the, the team uh, of uh, the OB crew of independent television and radio everybody is just on ground and we are ready uh, to beam all of these signals and tell the story the way it is, uh, Sonny, it's, yeah. it's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure, uh, Oye. I mean, you, you can see that uh, the atmosphere is charged and uh, members of the Knights are uh, having a procession at this moment uh, to set the stage for the big event coming up, which of course is the dedication of the uh, St. Uh, Gabriel, uh, Archangel Gabriel Catholic Church Okada uh, is a historic event, historic moment at that. Uh, if you were here some few months back, some few weeks back, and to think that within that short period of time, this massive transformation has taken place, I mean, you really know that the Esamal Benin is a man that is mightily and mightily graced. It is that grace that is bringing forth all the things that we are seeing. I mean, to think that um, the uh, principalities and powers in the Catholic Church, I must say, I hear gathered to, 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 be, to, be part, to be part of this okay. historic occasion. I mean, just to say the least. But again, uh, it's all a reflection of the man the Esama has become to everyone, uh, irrespective of your faith, tradition, tribe, religion, irrespective of your background, Isama is there for everyone and this is a very very historic milestone to the body of Christ for the propagation of the gospel for the depopulation of the kingdom Jesus. of darkness you know I always say that 
Isama is one of the biggest Good soldiers morning, everybody. we have around in the world. Honestly. Against the background Please. of his contributions to the church and we all of that. It's just so kindly inspiring, request so motivational. That and uh, we so all move the outside emulation. the church now, at Sunday, this hour. Believe me, um, the massive investment, um, the activity the for today to will Isha begin outside the church. Uh, to the body of Christ by the Isama of Benin Kingdom is uh, second to none. Uh, all the seats are labeled uh, already. Reverend Father, you know where you are. Uh, Please uh, kindly uh, move this outside. This edifice as the largest in the Catholic community. In we are beginning the ceremony uh, and, and, from and the outside of the church far bigger and, better than my and we request <laughs> that you kindly so, go outside summer, everybody uh, like Okada on the world map that is doing this again in Okada um, you just uh, keep wondering what manner of man is this on um, you know first and foremost he put the university brother knights please again the teaching hospital and then of course uh, always scoring first CWO, please kindly and move outside. The black man again to CMO, the uh, lady, this, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, massive invited guests, the church, and I'm sure the entire Catholic community, they must be very excited at what the Isama of Benin has done. The okay, doors we'll of the uh, church will be shut. Join the service, the uh, Catholic Bishop Please let us out move outside, the please. Of this special broadcast of the dedication ceremony of Archangel Gabriel Catholic Church Okada single-handedly built by the Isma of Benin's Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawao Ibnijo. Please move outside quickly, please. of us are going to go outside please our ceremony begins outside the church the doors of the church will be shut please kindly go outside you already have your seats labeled when you come in you will still resume your seats please everybody should be outside Thank you as you comply. Photographers, please move outside. All of us are going to go outside. Please kindly go outside the church. Everybody must go outside, please. Kindly obey this instruction. Please, we are going outside now. Let us all go outside. We are all going outside, please. All of us will go outside. The ceremony begins from outside the church.
The church wardens, please, let the doors of the church be locked. All our friends, please just be outside. The ceremony begins from there. We appreciate your cooperation. Church wardens, please lock the doors of the church. Lock the doors of the church. CWO, CMO, everybody, go outside. We appeal to you, go outside. This is a simple instruction. Please go outside. Lock the doors of the church, the church wardens. Please, the doors be locked, the doors be locked. For the mic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God be with you all in this holy church. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a day of rejoicing. We have come together to dedicate this church by offering within it the sacrifice of Christ. May we open our hearts and minds to receive his word with faith. May our fellowship born in the one font of baptism and sustained at the one table of the Lord become the one temple of his spirit as we gather around his altar in love.
pressure, congregation, this the key. I'm having a back. For the procession, the masters will lead, followed by the priests, then the bishops will follow, the other person will follow. Please let us go in this order. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. The masters first, masters. Camera man, please make a way in the middle. Masters. The priests. The priest, please move. The priest. The priest, please go.
Let us become as the Archbishop blesses the water. Please, no noise, no noise. My dear friends, in Christ, in this solemn rite of dedication, let us ask the Lord, our God, to bless this water created by His hand. Let it is a sign of our repentance a reminder of our baptism and a symbol of the cleansing of these walls and this altar. May the grace of God help us to remain faithful members of his church, open to the spirit we have received. God of mercy, you call every creature to the light of life and surround us with such great love that when we stray, you continually lead us back to Christ our head. For you have established an inheritance of such mercy that those sinners who pass through water made sacred die with Christ and rise restored as members of his body and heads of his eternal covenant. Bless this water. Sanctify it, as it is sprinkled upon us and throughout this church, make it a sign of the saving waters of baptism, by which we become one in Christ, the temple of your spirit. May all today and all those in days to come who will celebrate your mysteries in this church be united at last in the holy city of peace. In the name of Jesus the Lord. The holy water blessed by the Archbishop will be sprinkled on us, and the choir will sing.
please. Choir, please. of prayer. May the grace of the Holy Trinity Spirit cleanse us, for we are temple of his presence. Amen. Amen. We all go save
Please let us stop making noise. Almighty we are in the church. In God, pour out your grace upon this place and extend the gift of your help to all who call upon you. Word and the sacraments be strengthened here through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. May we sit. The lectors will present the lectionary to the Archbishop, who receives it and says a prayer before they read from it. Please let us maintain the decorum. We are in the church and we are not expected to make noise. May the word of God always be heard in this place as it unfolds the mystery of Christ before you and achieves your salvation within the church. Please, those sharing the program, stop doing that now. We don't want any noise because we are going to take the readings. Church wardens, please stop sharing the programs. Please, let there be absolute silence at this hour. A reading from the book of the prophet Nehemiah. In those days, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could deal with understanding, on the first day of the seventh month. And he read from it, facing the square before the water gate, from early morning until midday, in the presence of the men and the women and those who could understand. And the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. An extra the scribe stood on a wooden pulpit which they had made for the purpose. And Exdra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for it was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood. And Exdra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. And they read from the book, from the law of God clearly, and they gave the sense so that the people understood the reading. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, and extra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who taught the people said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat and drink sweet wine, and send portions to him for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The word of the Lord. Lord. 
Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The company of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one said that any of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. There was not anyone needy among them, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made to each as any had need. Thus Joseph, who was surnamed by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field which belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord. Let us all rise for the gospel acclamation. Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers at their business. And making a whip of cord, he drove them all with the sheep and oxen out of the temple. And he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what sign have you to show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, 
destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken forty-six years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us kindly sit. It is time for the homily. We must sit silently and listen with rapt attention. Please, the cameraman, kindly stop distracting this moment. Please, kindly move away from where you are. All attention must focus on the Archbishop who delivers the homily. Please. My house called a house of prayer. Glory be to Jesus. Your eminences, your graces, my Lord bishops. I want to recognize especially Archbishop Ebu, who is present with us, the Emeritus Bishop of the Thank you, Your Grace, for coming. Permit me in a special way to salute the Vice President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, his Grace, Most Reverend Matthew Mangoso Ndagoso, the Archbishop of Kaduna. Who is here with other members of the CBCN. My warm greetings to the Monsignori priests, consecrated men and women. I greet the Governor of the State, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, you're welcome, and his deputy, <laughs> Philip Shaibu, and his wife, you are all welcome. I greet the Papal Knights and all other Knights and ladies in the church, the Laity Council executives, and the entirely faithful government officials, palace chiefs, traditional rulers, religious leaders of other faiths, men and women of the press, security personnel, and the people of Okada land. I greet you all. In a special way, 
I salute His Excellency Chief Gabriel Osawaru Ibinedio, the Isama of Bini Kingdom, and his family. As we gather to dedicate this beautiful church you single handedly built, I thank God for your life. And I lift you and your loved ones to God in prayer for his blessing. May what you ask of God be granted you because of your love and commitment to him. May your sins be forgiven because of the great charity that you do. May God draw you and your family members closer to him so that you can know him more, love him more, serve him more, and be happy with him in this life and spend eternity with him in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Matthew chapter 21 verse 13. The church is a sacred place set aside for the worship of God. In the church we come to encounter God in a unique way. From ancient times people of various religions set aside a place where they have an encounter with the divine being. For us Christians, Christ himself is the head of the church. He is the altar of sacrifice. He is the victim of sacrifice. He is the priest that offers the sacrifice. In the church, prayers of thanksgiving, adoration, worship, and petitions are offered to God. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 13, Jesus reiterated the words of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 56, verse 7. This statement, when viewed from the actual text of Isaiah, undercuts the fact that the house of God shall be a place of prayer for all nations. The church is a place where our differences melt. In the church, people of various tribes, races, and social status realize their fundamental equality rooted in their humanity and dependence upon God. The church is a house of prayer for the wealthy and the poor. The house of prayer for the politicians who lead and the electorate who are led. It is a house of prayer for clergy and the lay faithful. With this in mind, let us learn to respect the place of worship that is the church. Let us treat the house of God as it deserves. Let us approach the house of God with faith, knowing that it is a special place for encounter with God. Let us pray for those who make the house of God a befitting place of encounter. This is what Isama has done by building this church. He has provided a special place where people of God, poor and rich, educated and uneducated, can reach God through prayer. Indeed, he, he who builds for God can never be forgotten by God. He who builds a house of prayer by that act endears himself to God. The legacy of Chief Gabriel Ibinidio in the life of the church in Benin City. Your Excellency Chief Gabriel Ibinidio, I greet you once again. I greet you because your type of personality is rare to find in the world. It is difficult to find one as generous as you are. It is difficult to find a man who brings together people of different faiths as much as you have done. It is difficult to find a detribalized man as much as you have shown the world. It is difficult to find a man who can have a healthy blend of culture and faith. It is difficult to find a man who respects the traditional institutions and still respects the Catholic Church he has embraced. It is difficult to find a man 
who is consistent in his act of charity. It is difficult to find a man who started from a humble background and who has risen to be counted among the richest men in the world and still remembers his roots. Isama, who hails from Okada, has never forgotten his humble beginnings. It is difficult to find a man who has transformed the name of his community as much as Isama has done for Okada. Everywhere in Nigeria, the motorcycle rider, riders are called Okada riders. A name gotten This is a name gotten from one of the first private commercial airlines established by Chief Ibunedio Okada Air. There is only one man who got the first license to establish a private university, and that is Chief Ibunedio. In the history of Bini Kingdom, it is difficult to find a man whose charity has reached more people as much as Isama. In the history of building churches and other places of worship, it is difficult to find a man who has built more churches and mosques as much as Isama of Bini Kingdom. Indeed, Isama has brought honor to Bini land. He has brought honor and respect to the great Bini Kingdom. He has brought honor and respect to the people of Okada, he has brought joy and happiness to many people. He has brought food to many people through his ever-expanding business empire that employs so many people. He remains one of the few elders in the land who continue to invest in the life of future generations. We see this in the schools and universities he has built and continue to build. The Catholic Church in Benin City, and in fact, the entire Nigeria, will never forget the Isama for all his good works. Today, we are here to dedicate the church he built to serve the faithful of Okada and Environ. This church, this house of God, is a magnificent piece that set the pace for others to follow. To Isama, we say thank you and God bless you for your generosity. You have not only built a church here, but you have the, also decided on your own to build an educational center, which you named after me, and which we will bless after this Mass. We say thank you to you. <laughs> Considering the size and the standard of the magnificent school you have built for the church, it is our desire to put it into optimal use. Chief Isama, we know you are a man who always seeks the best in whatever you are involved with to make the best use of this school, which you have just built. It is important that the school be transformed into a boarding school so that children from all over Edo State and beyond will find their way to Okada for their secondary education. We pray that God will continue to keep you alive and empower you financially to see this dream come true. You have also decided on your own, your own wisdom, to build a convent for the religious who will administer the school. We say thank you. It is also important to point out the need for the children of Isama to draw and tap from the wisdom and disposition of the Isama to the children of the great Isama, I therefore say, your father has bequeathed to you a legacy of generosity, a legacy of passion for the work of God, 
a legacy of transformation of society and humanity, a legacy of uniting people of every religion and tribes, a legacy of consolidating on what exists. You must not allow this to end with your father's earthly life. The success of a man is often judged based on the greatness of his successor. Science has shown us that there are many hereditary factors that are tra transmitted from parents to children. I therefore believe strongly that all the good qualities of Isama we have enumerated have also been transferred to you. Build on your father's legacy. The name of Ibunedio opens many doors today because of your father's hard work. I urge you not to sustain, not to only sustain what he is leaving behind, but also to build and improve upon it. Do not allow any projects, vision, or dreams of your father die after he is gone. You owe it to him and humanity to build on what he will leave for you. Build on his care for the poor. Build on his ability to unite people. Build on his generosity to the church and the people of various faiths. As scripture tells us, charity covers, or better still, charity wipes away sins. The more charitable you are, the more you endear yourselves to God's heart. We must always keep this in mind that we are as rich as what we share and we are as poor as what we keep to ourselves. His amass wealth is not to be counted based on what he has stored up for himself, but based on the many lives he has touched positively. I therefore strongly beg and appeal to the children of Isama, led by His Excellency Chief Loski Ibunedio, to lead the family in the sustenance and building upon the legacy of the Isama. Today, we collectively pray that the work of Isama will outlive him and that it will be sustained and built upon by the next generation of his family. To the children, I say, draw closer to God in your faith. Make God your protector and shield. Consult God in your prayers. Avoid anything that will offend God and promote anything that makes humanity and our society better. We assure you of our prayers and support in this direction. In the first reading, we listen to the text that narrates how the priest of the temple, Ezra, read the law to the people. In it, we say that the people understood the law. When they understood the law, the people repented. After repentance, they discovered that the joy of the Lord is their strength. In the church, we must learn to listen to the word of God when it is being proclaimed. We must listen when the homily is being delivered. In today's world of social media distractions, we should never allow ourselves to have divided attention in the church. Whenever we enter the church, we should drop every distraction. Stop viewing your Facebook account, your Twitter, your Instagram, your email, or your WhatsApp. The church is a place of listening to God and not a place to read newspapers or to complete unfinished discussions that started outside the church. The psalmist assures us in the responsorial psalm that the law and the word of God revive the soul, give wisdom to the simple, and gladden the heart. If we are atten inattentive to the church, we miss the opportunity to receive all the benefits from God. The second reading relates to us how the early church administered material goods and used them for the purpose of the gospel. 
the faithful brought their material possession to the apostles who used them for the need of the church. The primary reason why the church needs money is outlined in the text. The money given to the faithful is to be used to build the house of God, to use it for worship and to provide for the needy in our society. All these Isama has been doing, and we thank him for this. There are many of us who can also do the same according to their capacity. Never be passive when you are called to support the work of God with the material resources given to you by God. The zeal for the house of the Lord should burn in each one of us. The zeal should move us to always respond to things of God, knowing that this earth is not our permanent abode. Heaven is our destination. The kingdom we show on earth, the kindness we show on earth, will determine the way God will treat us after we depart from this world. Dearly beloved in Christ, as we dedicate this church today, this house of God, this place of prayer, we ask God to bless the donor, Chief Dr. Osawa Gabriel Osawaru Ibunedio and his family. We also invite the people of Okada to come and worship God in this beautiful church. We invite the members of the Charismatic Renewal and the Legion of Mary to embark on massive rural evangelization of Okada land. We direct that the Vicar for Evangelization, in conjunction with the Dean of the Deanery of Igbobazua and the parish priest of the newly dedicated church, to work out a plan to ensure that many faithful will be able to come to this church. This might require house-to-house -house apostolate that is well coordinated. This might, re this might require getting good bosses for, to transport the people from their homes to the church here. We welcome anyone who will assist us in making it easier for the people of Okada who may be living far from this church to be able to access this church through free transportation. This is worthy to note that to honor the Isama, I have written to him to propose three names in the order of his preference. And from these names, I will choose the name to be given to this church. From the names presented to me, I have decided to choose the first of the, on the list. And therefore, this church shall henceforth be called St. Gabriel the Archangel Catholic Church of Kada. All those who invoke God through the intercession of the patron saint of this church, may their prayers be answered. <laughs> Today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. We have taken a giant step towards actualizing the vision of getting a new diocese with this dedication. Let us intensify our prayers for our request to the Holy Father for a new diocese to come soon. To Gabriel, to Chief Gabriel Ibenedio and his family, we say, the church will always keep you in our prayers. We entrust you to the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who always knows how to ask Jesus Christ to bless his disciples. May God bless the Ibnidio family. May God bless the land of Okada. May God bless all who, all of you who are here today to witness this dedication. May God bless the many generations of people who will worship in this church. May God bless his words in our hearts and make them bear fruits in our lives through Christ our Lord. We'll have a moment of silence to digest 
what we have heard from the Archbishop. We shall now rise to take the creed. Dear friends, let us ask the saints to support our prayers to God, the Father Almighty, who has made the hearts of his people faithful temples of his spirit. Let us kneel as we take the litany of the saints.
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Saint Michael, Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist. Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, Saint Andrew, Saint John. Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Stephen, Saint Alphonsus Liguori, Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Saint Lawrence, Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, Saint Agnes, Saint Gregory. Saint Athanasius, Saint Basil, Saint Martin, Saint Benedict. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint John Vianney, Saint Catherine. Saint Teresa, blessed Iwenetansi, Lord deliver us, we pray. All holy men and women, Lord be merciful, from all evil, from everlasting death.
by your invocation by your death and resurrection by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit Lord we ask you hear our prayer be merciful to us in us Jesus, Son of the living God, Christ, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the saints make our prayers acceptable to you. May this building, which we dedicate to your name, be a house of salvation and grace. We are Christians gathered in fellowship, may worship you in spirit and truth, and grow together in love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. We will rise, but we will still continue to be in the mode of prayer, because the prayer of dedication will continue immediately. Father in heaven, source of holiness and true purpose, it is right that we praise and glorify your name. For today we come before you to dedicate to your lasting service this house of prayer, this health temple of worship, this home in which we are nourished by your word and your sacraments. Here is reflected the mystery of the church. The church is fruitful, made holy by the blood of Christ, a bride made radiant with his glory, a virgin splendid in the wholeness of her faith, a mother blessed through the power of the Spirit. The church is holy, your chosen vineyard. Its branches envelop the world. Its tendrils carried on the tree of the cross reach up to the kingdom of heaven. The church is favored, the dwelling place of God on earth, a temple built of living stones founded on the apostles with Jesus Christ, its cornerstone. The church is exalted, a city set on the mountain, a beacon to the whole world, bright with the glory of his lamp, the, and echoing the prayers of her saints. Lord, send your spirit from heaven to make this church an ever holy place, and this altar a ready table for the sacrifice of Christ. Here may the waters of baptism overwhelm the shame of sin. Here may your people die to sin and live again through grace as your children. Here may your children gathered around your altar celebrate the memorial of the Paschal Lamb and be fed at the table of Christ, your word, and Christ's body. Here may prayer, the church's banquet, resound through heaven and earth as a plea for the world's salvation. Here may the poor find justice, the victims of oppression through freedom. From here may the whole world, clothed in the dignity of the children of God, enter with gladness to your city of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
may resume our seats. And it is going to be the time for the anointing of the altar and the words of the church. We request that you continue to focus at the altar in absolute silence. The altar will be anointed with the oil of chrism as a sign of something sacred to the Lord because it is a place where the Eucharist will be confected. Let us rise. Anoint this altar and these buildings. May God in his power make them holy, visible signs of the mystery of Christ and his church. sensation. The Archbishop will incense the altar and also the church and the people will be incensed. The Archbishop will bless
the Archbishop at this point will say the prayer of consecration of the altar before the incensation. Lord, may your prayer ascend as incense. May our prayer ascend as incense in your sight. As this building is filled with fragrance, so may your church fill the world with the fragrance of Christ. Amen. He will pour the incense on the coal. Call to you, Lord, help me now. Listen to me when I call to you. Lord, I say to you, hear me. Listen to me, Lord. I am invoking.
this time, a candle will be presented to the Archbishop so that the altar light will be put on from there and also to light the other candles at the different points in the church. church and bring all nations to the fullness of truth. The altar is lit from this light and the light in the church will now be put on and from this we know that Christ is the light of the world and the choir will also lead us in the song. Celebrant 
As well as uh, the chief judge of Edo State, Honorable Justice Acha, and his wife. Uh, former Governor it is now Chief Lucky Musahai Benidio and his wife. Offering. The uh, first daughter of the Islamic Barrister, Mibel Amadi. And behind them, we have the House of Benidio fully, fully represented at this ceremony. I mean, there is no single Kindly space available in this magnificent ordinance. edifice, the Archangel Gabriel Catholic Church, Okada, uh, which has just been dedicated uh, this beautiful Saturday, the 17th day of September 2022. Uh, we talked about this a few days ago, that right after the 11th of September, the next major as thing that will happen, as far as the birthday is concerned, be will be this dedication the ceremony. At the time, yeah. we actually said that uh, the major activity for the birthday, as far as the Yisima Benin was concerned, uh, has to do with the dedication of this church. Uh, this church should barely uh, to come to this level. The last time we were here for the final inspection, uh, we saw the state of the church. We need such a short period of time. Each transformation has taken place. Uh, we, can all, we can only but give glory to God because He made this possible. That's the reason we are saying everyone gathered here. This is a big plus for the church and uh, um, a big plus for the body of Christ because men, women, and children will worship here to the glory of God. I want to say big congratulations to this summer, the chief servant, for again making this happen. And then we saw you to the most once again, for the opportunities throughout the world. At Angel Gabriel Catholic Church, Canada, where we're having a proper dedication, inauguration, commissioning of At Angel Gabriel Catholic Church. Uh, we'll take you back to the tutorial now.
all attention will be at the altar. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gifts of your joyful church be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that your people gathered in this place, in this holy house, may come through these mysteries of everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For you have made the whole world a temple of your glory, that your name might everywhere be extolled. Yet you allowed us to consecrate to you apt places for the divine mysteries. And so we dedicate ourselves to your majesty, this house of prayer built by human labor. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple. Here is prefigured the heavenly Jerusalem. For you made the body of your son, born of the tender virgin, the temple consecrated to you in which the fullness of the Godhead might dwell. You also established the church as a holy city, built upon the foundation of the apostles, with Christ Jesus himself, the chief cornerstone, a city to be built of chosen stones, given life by the Spirit and bonded by charity, where for endless ages you will be all in all and the light of Christ will shine undimmed forever. Through him, O Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Continue to focus at the altar. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to a certain, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. 
Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, make holy, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Gabriel the Archangel, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unhailing, unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity. You are pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Augustine our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who dedicates this church to you. May it be for your family a house of salvation and a place for the celebration of your heavenly sacraments. Here, may the gospel of peace resound and the sacred mysteries be celebrated so that you are faithful, formed by the word of life and by divine grace on their pilgrim way through the earthly city may merit to reach the eternal Jerusalem. There, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who we are pleasing to you, are they passing from this life? Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through 
him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My beloved brothers and sisters, it is now time for the Holy Communion. Holy Communion is only for baptized and practicing Catholics who are in the state of grace. We know in the church here we have people of other faiths. If you are not a Catholic and you are not a communicant, please kindly sit where you are and continue to give thanks to God for the gift of this church. Prayer before Holy Communion. O oh God.
my night and day, lest the walls so farm and stout keeping want and trouble out, lest the roof and pillars tall, let your peace be. the door that it may be ever open to joy and love. Bless this house, O oh Lord, So far and stout, keeping what and trouble out. Bless the roof and pillars tall. Let your peace be over all. Bless the Sacrament most holy. Jesus, I love you. Prayer for Nigeria in distress of power.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May we all rise for the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Through these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, we pray, instill in our minds an increase of your truth, so that we may constantly adore you in your holy temple and glory in your sight with all the saints, through Christ our Lord. It will now be time for the inauguration of the Blessed Sacrament, where the Blessed Sacrament will be reserved at the tabernacle. So we will continue. We are going to kneel as the Archbishop comes to the altar and lead us in the prayers. Let us kneel.
sacrament most holy. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We fly to your patronage. Oh, Lord of God. This Christ born to the creation. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, Saint Gabriel, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us let us resume our seats. Before we take the Thanksgiving. I want to quickly um, recognize the presence of His Excellency Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. GCFR, the former president of Nigeria. We also want to recognize the presence of the Governor of Edo State, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki. We also wish to quickly recognize the presence of the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Right Honorable Philip Shaibu. With the wife, we quickly also recognize the Chief Judge of Edo State, Honorable Justice Joe Archer, and the spouse who are here present. We also have in our midst senior palace chiefs representing the Oba of Benin, Oba Eware II. We recognize them. We will continue to recognize others who have come here that we have in our list, but I will quickly at this point invite the Secretary General of the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, very Reverend Father Sanjumi, to introduce the cardinals and bishops who are here present. Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. I will quickly introduce to you the two cardinals we have and the other bishops who are here. 
we have His Eminence, John Cardinal Onaekon. <laughs> Archbishop Emeritus Abuja Archdiocese. And we have our latest Cardinal, Peter Ebere, Cardinal Okwaleke. The Bishop of Ekulobia Diocese. Then we have Archbishop Matthew Man Oso Ndangoso, the Archbishop of Kaduna Archdiocese. He is the Vice President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria. And right up by my right, we have Most Reverend Felix. Alaba Job, Archbishop Emeritus Ibadan Archdiocese. By his left, we have Most Reverend Patrick Ekpu. Archbishop Emeritus Benin City. Just right in front of me, Most Reverend Jude Arogundade, the Bishop of Ondo Diocese. We have next to him most Reverend Hyacin Ebebo, the Bishop of Bomadi Diocese. Most Reverend Emmanuel Badejo, the Bishop of Oyo Diocese. Right behind him, we have Most Reverend John Niyiring, the Bishop of Kano Diocese. Next to him is Most Reverend Gabriel Dunia, the Bishop of Auchi Diocese. And next to him, we have Most Reverend Stephen Dami Mamza, the Bishop of Yola Diocese. Right behind him is Most Reverend John Bakeni, the Auxiliary Bishop of Maiduguri Diocese. And next to him is Most Reverend Jonas Benson Okoye, the Bishop of Newi Diocese. Next to him is Most Reverend Oliver Dashe Dome, the Bishop of Maiduguri Diocese. And next to him we have Most Reverend Martin Uzuku, the Bishop of Mina Diocese. Directly behind him is Most Reverend Gabriel Leke Abegunrin, the Archbishop of Ibadan Archdiocese. And next to him is Most Reverend Ignatius Ayao Kaigama, the Archbishop of Abuja Archdiocese. Next to him is Most Reverend Isaac Dugu, the Bishop of Katsina Alla Diocese. Uh, by the other side, even though they are a little bit hidden, I will mention their names. Directly facing me is Most Reverend Anthony Adaji, the Bishop of Ida Diocese. Most Reverend Donatus Ogun, the Bishop of Uromi Diocese. Most Reverend Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese.
Do you want to go to Sokoto? Okay. We have next to him Most Reverend Michael Elue, the Bishop of Iselewuku Diocese. And right, right behind him, we have Most Reverend Hilary Dachelem, the Bishop of Bauchi Diocese. Next to him, we have Most Reverend Bulus Johanna, the Bishop of Konta Gora Diocese. And next to him, we have Most Reverend Camillus Umo, the Bishop of Iko de Quene Diocese. And next to him, we have Most Reverend Martin Olorumolu, the Bishop of Lokoja Diocese. And next to him, we have Most Reverend John Oye Jola, the Bishop of Oshogbo Diocese. Uh, we have the Rector of Siwa present here, Reverend Father Jude Asombe. We also have the diocesan administrator of Zaria Diocese, very Reverend Father Michael Kagarko. We have Reverend Father Emmanuel Fawe representing the Bishop of Kafanchan Diocese. We have Right Reverend Monsignor Theophilus Oduque representing the Archbishop of Onicha Archdiocese. Uh, there are many others. I don't have their names right now. Um, Ijebu Ode, okay. Ekiti Diocese, uh, representing Most Reverend Felix Ajakaye. All right. So thank you so very much, Father. Ah, okay. And we have Father Peter Ona Bamiro representing the Bishop of Ijebu Ode Diocese. Let us clap for very Reverend Father Sanjumi for that wonderful presentation. At this point, we are going to take our general thanksgiving and we request the church wardens to make it easy place the baskets just the way we did the offering so that we don't take much time. Please, we ask you to follow the directives of the church warden. Come with joy to make your thanksgiving offering to God for the gift of this wonderful place of worship. The choir, please. <laughs> Oh, 
Glory to Jesus. Please, we want to quickly invite the donor of this church to the Archdiocese of Benin City. Please, choir, please, please. to bring to your notice the governor who is supposed to make his speech now has generously given to all the bishops who came here in attendance to continue to promote the work of evangelization in their various dioceses the sum of 15 million naira 
I want to most respectfully invite Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Ibinedion, GFR, the Isama of Benin Kingdom, to come and make a statement to all the people who have come here today. has respectfully asked the Vice Chancellor of Ibinadion University to take the speech for him, Professor Ezemoye. Your Excellencies, Your Eminences, I am inclined to align with the already well-crafted and eloquently crafted protocol for today's event. I have the singular honor and the exclusive mandate of His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawari Binedio, to read his welcome address on this very special occasion. Before I read this address, I would like to put on record that I have never seen any gathering of clergy and late, food, late faithful like this. This is the highest in the first century and the largest in sub-Saharan Africa. The words, the thoughts, the reflections you will hear after now are all the words and thoughts of His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawa Rigbinedio. But the rendition will be from my humble self, the Vice Chancellor, Ibinedio University, Okada. When I was invited to the podium, I heard some whispers. I saw some people stretching their neck. They were trying to reconcile what is in the program? The welcome address by His Excellency and what is happening in the podium at the moment. A radiation by His Vice Chancellor. I would like you to consider this a metaphor of utmost significance. I'm only here to give the welcome address. It gives me great joy and indeed an honor to welcome all present at this beautiful edifice, which has been and has been dedicated today, St. Gabriel Archangel Catholic Church, Ukada, single-handedly built on the tenets of biblical fidelity and the belief in generosity of providence. The Isama declares, my greatest joy is the divine provision from the conception to the completion of this magnificent church of our time. I welcome and greet respectfully Most Reverend Dr. Augustine Obiora Kubeze, the Archbishop of Benin City and the Apostolic Administrator of Wari Diocese. Your Grace, from your apostolic antecedents and vitality, I can confidently say that you are a man who has the God, hand of God upon your shoulders. We thank you for your exemplary leadership. Your humility and simplicity is unparalleled. Your massive pastoral drives and your fatherly care towards your flock remains unprecedented. Your reign has been very peaceful. The number of Catholics have increased. Parishes have expanded, and the faith has grown as never before. May God continue to use you to lead us and teach us the way to Jesus Christ through the Blessed Virgin Mary. I welcome 
most respectfully, John Cardinal Onayikon, the Archbishop Emeritus of the Archdiocese of Abuja. Also welcome your eminence, Cardinal Okwaleke. I greet all the archbishops here present and the bishops. Your grace is me, Lord. Welcome to Okada. I congratulate you all, the members of Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, for the success of your second plenary meeting at Olu in Imo State. To have been able to make it here to Okada shows your love for evangelization in the church. Your presence today in your numbers means so much blessing to us here in Okada and in the Archdiocese of Benin. We will cherish this day for a very long time. Your eminences, your graces, my Lord, your communique titled The Threshold of a New Dawn in Nigeria, which you issued at the end of your second plenary, is very, very insightful and will help not just the church, but our nation, especially as we prepare for the forthcoming elections. Thank you for being the voice, speaking the truth to power and correcting the ills of our society. I want to thank our Archbishop, Archbishop August Obiora Kubeze, and limited past CBN president. I thank Archbishop Lucius Ugoji, the current CBN, CBCN president, and the entire members of the Catholic Bishop Conference of Nigeria, specifically for lifting the ban on the suspension of the Knights and Ladies of St. John's International. I, I am a Knight of St. John, and that this ban is lifted when I'm celebrating my 88th birthday is a thing of joy to me and for us all. We pray that God will continue to keep the church in oneness of hearts, our faith and mission. I acknowledge the presence of the very Reverend Father Samaju, the Secretary General of the Catholic Secretary of Nigeria, and all those who have come with him. I thank the religious and the consecrated men and women and welcome you all together. May the fruits of this celebration linger for a long time in our lives. Traditional leaders, diplomats, political office holders, captains of industries, and all of us who have come to celebrate my 88th birthday and the grand education of this church, I say welcome to Okada. Your Excellencies, the significance of today's event cannot be overemphasized. For me, it is a fulfillment of a long-term dream of befitting a befitting place of worship under the auspices of the Catholic Church to cater for spiritual needs of the lay faithfuls. For the Catholic Church, this magnificent, gigantic church stands as a visible sign of the invisible God to whom be the glory now and forevermore. It is quite providential that this church is being dedicated with the name Gabriel and the month of the feast of Angel Gabriel. The name Gabriel, which is a, a Hebrew origin, which is of Hebrew origin, means God is my strength, or God or hero of God. God is really your strength. God is really my strength. For except the Lord builds a house, the labor in vain, they that build it. Psalm 127, verse 1. That is why I can dream it and it becomes a reality. That is why I can conceive it and it is brought to a fruition. That is why I can compel it and contemplate it and it's driven to a conclusion. To God be the glory. Some days ago, we were here to inspect this project on this site. And the inspection inspired me and it led to the endorsement of more projects with very limited time frame for completion. Today, what we thought was impossible has become a reality and a metaphoric toast of Christendom before our very eyes. There is nothing difficult for God. There is nothing impossible in the hands of God. 
Did Archbishop Akubeze Educational Center has been blessed and will be blessed and commissioned. The church has already been dedicated. The rectory of Father's House has been completed. The proposed chancery and convent are already put in place. Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen and your excellencies, just for the record, this church complex occupies a very vast expanse of land with a provision for future expansion. The compound comprises of an additional grotto, magnificent state-of-the-art entrance gate, fortified perimeter fence with good network of paved roads, and industrial borehole, soundproof generators, all are abilities of this church. It is my prayer that the dedication of this church today will enjoy God's promises to Solomon in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 16. And I quote, Now I have chosen and consecrated this house that my name be there forever. My eyes, my heart also shall be there always, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to extend my profound gratitude. I want to thank, in a very special way, all those who were instrumental to this success story, especially Reverend Father Augustine Ege Vicar General, and very Reverend Father Dr. Mike Oyanofo, Chancellor of the Catholic Addresses of Benin, for their tireless efforts in ensuring that these projects come to fruition. Together with their team, I thank you and may God bless you. May I see this opportunity again to thank His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Augustine Obiora Akubeze, our Chief Shepherd for shelving his time schedules at intervals to expect this project to ensure that they conform with the standard of the Universal Church. Your Grace, I thank you for releasing, for releasing your highly respected, trusted, dependable, and committed priests, whose name I've mentioned earlier, to supervise and bring this project to fruition. They were indeed very well faithful. Your Excellency, Your Eminences, since this church is named after Angel Gabriel, and as I contemplate with admiration of this sacred piece of marvelous beauty, built by divine explanation and veiled with so much faith-filled history, permit me, Your Excellency, to end this speech with the prayer of our Archangel Gabriel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commit us there, ever this day be on our side, to light, to guide, to rule, and to guard us. Amen. 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 And to God be the glory. Please let us clap for His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Igminedion, for this wonderful speech. Before we invite the governor to come to make his speech, please, we want to recognize the presence of Your Highness Nana Krubea Asante, the Adontehene of Kwahu Mpresco from Ghana. We recognize you. We also recognize the members of the Diplomatic Corps. And we recognize all political office holders who are here. And we also recognize the National President of the Catholic Women Organization of Nigeria, Dem Mary Asibi Gonsum, represented by Benin Ecclesiastical Province, CWO, uh, Ambassador Mrs. Christy Akako and all the women who are here. CWO clap for yourselves.
We also recognize the CMO, all the men, we recognize you. The youths who are here, we recognize you. We recognize you. We recognize the knights and ladies. We recognize you. Please, quickly, before the governor comes, the East Sama wants to say a word to us. Because he lives. Archbishop, good afternoon. My Lord Archbishop, good afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not on day yet. I would like you to step to my level. Ambition. No people that follow Ambition, you don't like him again. Follow him now. In addition to this, is the two buses, brand new buses. You have to come dedicate this book, the song of the Gabriel, Angel Gabriel. Glory be to Jesus. I want to thank uh, Chief Isama again. I thanked him during my homily and I continue to thank him for what he's doing for the church and for the God. Thank him for this set of uh, hymn books to the church. It will not be used only here, it will be used in the Archdiocese also. So I thank him and thank him for the, the buses that he donated for evangelization. Because during my homily, I asked for means of transportation to help evangelization in this area. And he has graciously, as ever, as always, given something immediately, even before the mass ends. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless you. No, sir, let uh, go and see the whether the key I gave, whether it's anything there. Go and see the boss. They get they can go and have a look. After the mass. Okay. Yeah, bless it. Bless it. Okay. Sir, so, uh, I want all you and your bishop to pray for the governor. Well, glory be to Jesus. The, after the governor, you know, addresses the assembly, 
we will have to bless him at the request of this summer. Thank you very much. So we most respectfully invite the governor of Edo State, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, to come and address the church. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Edo State, the Right Honorable Philip Shoaibo and his wife, the Chief Judge, Justice Acha and his wife, the former Governor of Edo State, His Excellency Loki Igbinidio and his lovely wife, the Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Benin City, His Grace, the Most Reverend Augustine Akubweze, and other bishops and clergy who are here, our father and the donor of this edifice, the Isama of Benin Kingdom, His Excellency Chief Dr. Gabriel Benedio, other traditional rulers who are here, the representatives of the Omonobane Dukua Polo Polo by Y the second, Oba Atokpe. Traditional rulers, reverend fathers and sisters, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. As usual, our Archbishop Akubweze has said everything that needs to be said about our father and the donor of this edifice, Chief Ibinidio, today. I don't think I can add anything more to what he has said. I just hope, Archbishop, that I can get a copy of your homily. I know you will publish it at some time with the third edition of your next book, but I will please crave your indulgence to let me have an advanced copy because it is something that we all need to keep as part of our records. As you know, the role of government is to enable things to happen in our society. So when you find a person like Chief Binedion who over the last 40 years decided to bring development to this axis of our state. I believe that government has a responsibility to support and enable what he is doing. As part of what we are doing as government, we're putting together a 30-year development plan for Edo State so that future governments that come cannot say they do not know what to do. Part of this plan involves the master planning of several towns and cities in Edo because we need to move the population out of the main cities of Benin, Ekoma, and Auchi. And one of the areas we are going to be focusing on now that Chief has done so much here over the last 40 years is Okada. I know Chief's dream is to have a diocese here in Okada. But that may not be possible if we do not build the necessary infrastructure to bring the traffic and population to this part of our state. So as part of celebrating you, Chief, I am going to be instructing immediately that our town planning teams come here to complete the master plan for Okada and the environs. From that master plan, I want to assure you in next year's budget, 
we will be completing the dualization of the road from Okada to the junction. And the master plan will come up with a lot of other infrastructure that we need to build. Because they say, may the labors of our heroes never go in vain. Chief, in his own way, has done so much to bring development to this axis. Government must now do its own bits to complement what he has done. So, as we celebrate you today, as we are all here to dedicate this magnificent edifice, which you have used your hard-earned monies to build to the glory of God and for the service of our people, on behalf of the government and people of Edo State, we want to congratulate you, we want to celebrate you, and wish you many, many more years in good health and happiness. Congratulations, sir. So we want to thank His Excellency for his kind words. And at this point, the Archbishop will bless His Excellency and also representing the government of Edo State. We also invite the Deputy Governor, the Chief Justice, and the wife of the Deputy Governor, the spouse of the Chief Justice, to also join him. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, our Father, those who lead have a delegated authority from you. Enable our leaders to be able to lead us well and grant that special grace so that whenever they act with you in view, all their actions will all go well for their own good and for the good of all those whom they govern through Christ our Lord. Now, all the bishops. Now, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. So let us clap for the governor. His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Igbinedion has requested to have a thanksgiving for his family for his 88th birthday. And he's going to come out for this thanksgiving with the members of his family. Uh, the church wardens will help us also to put the baskets at the different points so that people will also join him to say thank you. We'll make it very, uh, very well coordinated. So we invite His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Ibinedion, the Isama of Benin, to kindly come out for his birthday Thanksgiving. The members of his family will also join him for this Thanksgiving and his friends who have been invited for this occasion. The church wardens, please put the baskets at different points so that we don't clog up in one place and make it very smooth and fast.
after the final blessings, we are going to the school. So the priest will go with the archbishop, and then every other of us will join as we proceed to the school. The Lord be with you. May the name of the Lord be blessed. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Keep going. We are going to the school. you know that enough preparation for refreshment and entertainment of guests have been made right here in church the canopies outside please just 
make sure you are entertained. And the various tents and canopies outside. Only the partners as bishops, bishops, and priests are requested to join the funeral. He is someone in his country home now. Let me thank you, thank you. To God be the glory. Saint Gabriel the Archangel, Catholic Church, Okada has been dedicated. I like to inform you that enough arrangement has been made for entertainment of guests here in the church. There are several caterers, several service points outside of the church. On the canopies there, you entertain, you'll be very well entertained. But let me also quickly inform you that the ASMR's guests, the ASMR's VVIPs, very important personalities, are to join him at a country home now in Okada for the entertainment. But CMO, CWO, enough preparations have been made here for you in church. We want you to enjoy yourselves. Enough has been provided. Thank you. Sin, 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 sin,
Ah, 